Well, welcome back to Toyota Sports Talk. It's the best time of year. Commander's training camp officially underway, and every single day we are sitting down with a Washington commander, getting you introduced to some of the new faces, some of the old faces, all of the above. But today we have a new face here in Washington, Senator Tyler Biadish. Tyler, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. No, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great, too. Well, we are glad to have you in Washington. Of course, a new journey. We're going to dive into it, talk all about it. But, you know, it's been a few months since you've been a, an official Washington commander. How are you acclimating to the team and also the city? Because this is also uh, a big step. Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely uh, there's some newness to it for sure. But I mean, we've been down here um, since April 2nd. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, had a lot of time to build chemistry with the guys and everything. So, you know, I was at, you know, you get that like two week mark right before training camp. You, you're, you got that itch to get back and uh, see the guys and everything. And and uh, but no, we're having a blast so far. I love that. So you have been obviously in Dallas your whole career up until this point. So getting acclimated to a new city, I think that's also a big thing because it's the first time you've had to do that in your young career. So how have you been kind of meshing with the city? Have you had time to go out and kind of explore yeah. at all? No, I mean, I mean, a little bit, uh, but. But not too much. I mean, obviously, moving can be a hassle sometimes coming from a, a farther distance away. But um, but uh, I'm, I'm from the Midwest, like from yeah. Wisconsin. So uh, there's a lot of similarities here in Virginia. Um, obviously, like the bigger cities going towards D.C. and everything yeah. like that. But um, but no, I mean, you know, we're, we're just like, you know, building step by step. But at the same time, uh, the focus is here. So, yeah. I mean, you know, there's not a lot of trips here and there right now and anything like that. So uh, it's more building with the guys and um, staying around them and and it's camp life so it's uh it's, it's, it's always a blast so of course well as a fellow midwestern i have to say i know you went back to uh your hometown over mm -hmm. the off season mm -hmm. um i know a big part of what you've done during your career in dallas is giving back that's also right. what you've done a little bit over yeah. this off season a yeah. little bit explain kind of what you did i know you held a youth camp yeah no doubt uh you know right right down the road um we had a kids camp uh me and uh, Percy Butler, we went over there and we had a kids camp from ages like, I believe it was like second, third grade on to all the way through high school. So there's two camps right in uh, Georgetown University right over there. So uh, it was great just to, you know, be within the community. And like, that's always uh, about wherever you're at in your yeah. journey in the NFL, but always connected to the community and giving back and uh, just knowing that the sport is a privilege and it's not forever. So just to spread that like love and joy of the game, but also the, the fundamentals you get throughout life. Um, it, it takes you so far, so um, it, was a, it was definitely a blessing to, to have the first camp over there, and uh, me and uh, Percy had a blast doing it, got to sign some autographs for the kids and everything, and connect with the community, so. I wonder, this is why I, I love sitting down with players, because we, we, we'll talk about the player you are, of course, but I want to dive into the person first. Why do you think you have that, that drive to want to give back, especially to an area you're just now getting to know? Yeah, I think it's just, it's like, the, it's the edge of the community. I mean, it's, it's the, it's, it's it's a whole culture and we want to set this new culture coming in obviously there's a newness from every group here right there's new players new coaches new gm new, new ownership so we want to drive this culture and like drive the community also at the same time of of who we are and who we are as players and there's a championship level of you know like standards that we set whether it's on the field or off the field and and that's just one thing too but also that's i feel like that's kind of like the the beauty of the sport is to be able to give back and have those opportunities and and it's a it's a privilege to do that as well i mean and 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 that's not forever either so the more that you can uh, spread knowledge and wisdom to the youth and that that's our future and then you know not to get outside of that but that's that's our world we live in so to to be able to set a great example and and that's how i grew up you know so always trying to set a good example for you know for the younger generation growing up but also you know what your standard is and how to how to exceed that yeah um, and to be a better version of yourself so well it sounds like you're a guy who who completely understands what his identity is and identity is something that we've heard a lot about from Dan Quinn even just over these last few days what is the identity of this current team right now because I know it's something that you guys are working right now to kind of cement to figure out so how would you think that process is going yeah no I mean we're definitely we're holding ourselves to a championship level of standard of, of who we are on the field and off the field and and you know we're grinders man we're gonna we're gonna grind we're gonna you know we're gonna keep that standard every single day and we're gonna come in and and uphold to that standard and, and have high expectations and and to really like you know come out and 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 this is like our our, our standard of limitate we're, we're we're going beyond that we want to we want to exceed where we're at and you know that's just the that's the level of growth we're, i think this whole team in general we have a growth mindset every day you're improving and and, and how, how is that, whether it's the meeting room, whether it's on the field, whether it's you know taking extra time with coaches, whatever that may be, or 
you know, grabbing a guy and going on the field and doing more reps or whatever that is. Um, but our, our identity is going to be known of who we are and what we put on film for sure. Yeah. And right now we're just building that and day in and day out and, uh, you know, having that championship mindset of, you know, what our standard is and who we are as a team. Yeah. When it comes to your personal growth, mm -hmm. I mean, this is like essentially a little bit of your introduction to the sure. Washington community. What kind of a player is Washington getting in Tyler Biotis? I mean, you're just, you're getting the, you're getting the best version of, you, of myself. I mean, uh, I hold my, my standard of that. And I think, you know, the team is too. Like we want to be the best version of ourselves as a group, chemistry, bonding wise, culture wise, but it, as individuals, my, 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 every year, my, my goal is to better myself to be the best version of me in 2024 right like what on and off the field whether you know knowledge of the playbook to the best I can have it right yeah and to the recovery outside the building or putting my body in the best shape possible to to get to where we want to go and to have my 111th of when I'm on the field to be the best I possibly can have it so um, you know there's always an expectation always a drive and and that's that's the beauty of the sport is that it, it's always a different cycle of play and, and now we're we went from OTAs to camp right so it's just that building and that growth mindset of of a leadership of my role now is to you know help the younger guys keep growing but also holding our level standard of our position group like as an O-line yeah and to you know generate that around the whole culture of the locker room and obviously like that comes with great responsibility and great uh great standards of what you know what I set and what other leaders set and you know that that gives out the the energy of the whole group so definitely a higher standard for sure well it's fun watching you and Jaden already the first time you guys meet on on the field when you guys do your separate drills you come together you dap up you guys are ready to get to yeah. work what is that then like building that chemistry building that relationship with Jaden it's been great it's been great obviously you have that you have that energy of Jaden and and who he is as a person and you know he's his work ethic is great and you know it's it's just that consistent energy he's just consistent every single day and you know he always has you know, he has a great attitude about everything, and um, that's all. And that's all. Uh, you know, for what he's done so far from OTAs to now, like he's just on this great trajectory of, of yeah. level of success. And um, you know, he's he's always pushing himself as well, whether it's extra meeting time or whether coming in early, and you know, getting his body right or whatever that may be. Yeah. And he's doing he's doing a hell of a job for sure. Well, as media, we hear a lot about his leadership qualities, yeah. and and it's fun seeing that out there on the field in these early days. When it comes to what you're seeing though, being out there with him. What do you see in him that makes you believe that he is not only going to be a great player in this league, but is able to maybe turn this franchise around as well? I think that his level of his attitude and his calmness and his focus and his drive, you can you can see that. And he doesn't he doesn't blink between situations, whether it's a the end of game situation, two minute on the ball, first and ten, third down, whatever the situation is. He's he's smooth. He's calm. He's collected. He he has this standard of attitude and that he brings and like the level of focused and drive that he puts out there in the huddle or even at the line he's just consistent and that's that's exactly what you want because you can grow off of that because yeah. you know what you're going to come in with you know how where you're going to be at so it's just little you know things that you can work on they're not going to be these huge huge big things right okay. it's just little little things maybe like take your read here or there whatever the case may be um or footwork wise of how the pocket is and stuff like that so you know he's on it um you know he's grinding yeah. and uh but yeah, that's that's the attitude and the identity of the team. You know, like, you know, we're all held to the same standard of making him be as comfortable as he can in the pocket or as the play. Like, you know, we we're, we're we're a part of that success as well. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's a, it's a collective unit around him, specifically talking about him and everything like that. Whether it's him in the game or Marcus the, or whoever the case may be in practice and stuff. So. You know, we're all part of that success, and you know, we take ownership as a whole whole unit in that regard. Yeah. Now, is that something that's set by head coach Dan Quinn? Is that something you guys have kind of come together and said, you know, this is how we're going to get things done? Because mm -hmm. I know you know Dan Quinn better than most people here in Washington. Sure. Yeah. No, I, I think I think the biggest thing is that it's it's a yeah. There's an individual part of the game for sure upon position groups and and here and there, but it's a collective unit. There's there's not a touchdown without a pass. There's not a, you know, a, a really good run without, you know, four or five guys blocking. Like there's, it's a unit and how we can play as a unit. That that's the that's the key to all success. I mean, you have to have timing with your route. You have to have trust on a on a break of a route. There's yeah. there's so many things going on to it. It's the play call having exactly what it's, you know, being said. So there's so many great things, but there's so many like, you know, the, the greatest thing like you know Dan Quinn 
like says to us it's like you, you want to do right a thousand times so you, you, there's no way you can get it wrong so that's how we're practicing that's like yeah. part of our identity of like we want to make it obviously there's there's no such thing as like perfect but there's a the consistent effort of upon how great can we make it every yeah. single play and push each other in that regard and be honest with ourselves too and and how can we you know how can we level up from yesterday how can yeah. we not necessarily like beat but like how can we raise the bar of the standard how, how far can we get to before obviously game one and and then it's like the whole trajectory of the season so. yeah of course well you talk about this collective unit and of course you weren't here last year but that unit of the offense last year they dealt with their struggles of course and not all of that was on the offensive line but coming into this season that's a big question mark a lot of us have is how strong is this offensive line going to be obviously mm -hmm. it's very early this is day two of training camp everybody but how confident are you that that group is coming together and can put forth yeah. a successful season this year no doubt no doubt there's confidence behind all of that and I, and I think that's what the beauty is behind training camp in general is because obviously it's day two of practice but in regards of that's just that that's just our responsibility and how we're gonna how we're gonna make it and, and you know there's there's not a lot to be said in regards of right now because obviously our film is going to speak more volumes than anything right. and what we put on Sundays. So in regards of right now, like I could tell you that there's a great confidence, a great energy of how we're going to be, and we're, we're going to have great resiliency of who we are as an offensive line. And but the whole collective offensive unit, like we're coming for it. How excited are you to put the pads on in just a few, hopefully a few short days? <laughs> Wish we had them on today. No <laughs> doubt. No, I for asked, real. Yeah, I asked <laughs> Dan about, you know, how are you kind of gauging right now the process or the progress, rather, that you guys are making? Because no one's hitting each other right now. And yeah. he said it's, you know, you, you look for certain things. You look for quickness and the ability to just kind of watch every player yeah. and know what he's doing, X, Y, Z. But, I mean, the real fun is when the pads come on, No right? doubt, no doubt. <laughs> I mean, right now, I think, I think right now is like if you can, if you can be able to practice without pads on, you're a great team yeah. and I think that's where it's like it's all hands and feet and, and if you can feel the you know there's so many different trajectories whether in defense you want to have your extension right or if you're on offense you want to have your, your hands and feet in the block obviously you're not you know dumping guys or throwing yeah. guys or really like you know smoking them off the ball between you know pad level and everything but you want to have your you know great hands great feet right. and you want to play with extension obviously pass pro maybe you can do a little bit more yeah. versus the run game um, but in regards about like how we practice that's Everything that we did in OTAs, we made sure we knew how to practice without pads on. Yeah. And we've been having great practices now where, you know, not too many guys are falling on the ground and, yeah. and you know, we're keeping guys healthy and keeping guys upright and everything like that. And that's, and that's the, you know, that's part of like how great teams work is that you can, you can practice with, you know, great fundamentals, but also knowing your obviously opponent yeah. and making sure like you guys are doing it right in regards of how to practice and making sure, you know, obviously with the QB, like, you know, are we going to do scramble drill off of right. it? Like if he's extending the pocket and like, you know, when do you pull up and when do you not? So there's a great chemistry of the group in regards of both sides, especially O-line and D-line and in regards of how how far we can push and everything like that. So, but yeah, pads are going to be great. There we go. Well, Tyler, I will speak for the whole Washington Commanders fan base. We are glad you are here in Washington. Best of Appreciate luck this season. It. We're rooting for you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Much more to come here on Toyota Sports Talk. Stay with us. We've got more on the other side of the break.